Like it's she's awesome, gonna, bro. Like it's 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 gonna be dope. Like, bro, they got even got you thinking about homeschooling your kids. Like, shit, you take your kids with you, homeschool, and now I teach them what I want to teach them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, no, like and that's, that's some real life shit. And homeschooling now is like a must for me. Like, they mm-hmm. don't get homeschooled. Yeah, for the rest of us. I've never thought of homeschooling until I listened to them, and I was like. Like paying for because when you think end. about a lot of the mental things that we have to work through as business owners now, it comes from school. where did it come from? It came from school. It comes from getting molded. So by like, some what if I never even do. let them be molded that, that way? Like, you know what I mean? Like, being a business, owning a business is like normal because they've only been around business owners their whole life. So why would they think about going to go work somewhere? And I was blessed that way because both my parents were mm-hmm. entrepreneurs, and then like our family members are entrepreneurs. Everybody like around like mm-hmm. my neighborhood because there's country as fuck. Everybody was a tradesman. Yeah. Right. So like, yeah. oh no, he does tile. He's a plumber. Oh, mm-hmm. this dude does excavation. So it's a lot different. And I don't think a teacher should be telling my son how to think. To yeah, where like, yeah. I don't it, like. It's like, and it's not a bad. It's not a bad. That's thing. so hard, dude. Like, you know what I mean? Because I have like the utmost respect for. Right, and bro, you were a teacher. I was a teacher. You know what I mean? Like, and it, that it's so hard because there's a great. There, it's just a different lifestyle it, it's completely different and it's i just really do lifestyle. think school shows you how to work a nine to five job yeah school you go to school to be an employee and there's nothing wrong with being an employee because no, we need you and i mean like but like you can pick something that you love to do mm-hmm. but i just my son can always go do that mm-hmm. with the things i the way i can teach my son how to think my son can always go do something else bro go build out this business and then go be a teacher Right, you, you can because it's somebody. way different doing something that you love to do when you're not relying on it financially. Like, go be a vet. Go be a nurse. Go do those things. If you really love, like, you know what I mean? Because those are nurturing people. Yep. So go build something that takes care of your financial needs and then go do what it is that you're passionate of doing. If that's just, at that point, I don't I don't need to go teach and to, to go, you know, I don't need to go get a credential and and do all and get hired to, to teach like no i'll go be an aide i'll go volunteer i'll be a volunteer at the school then just go help the kids because now i'm doing it because i genuinely i just love to do it and i do not need the money i just i want to help kids yep like to me that's a whole different purpose you know what i mean so because as teachers sometimes you do get burnt out and you're like fuck this shit ain't worth it uh, well, you know I, mean, I mean, but how do you get burnt out when and you find teachers out? have an amazing soul? And I do think all of you should make way more money. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Way more money. Like I, I want the best. Number one, I think there's more capitalism in teaching just so people strive to be the best teacher ever. Mm-hmm. Right. And then we have, it's like really competitive of like, no, I'm trying to grow these kids. Like I'm trying to show these kids really. When what's you up. talk about being, when you talk about putting your kid, doing homeschooling with your kids, like who are you going to go hire? You're hiring a teacher. Oh, yeah, I'm hiring a teacher. You know what I mean? And you're fucking paying them to teach what they really believe in. Because most teachers, sometimes they teach, they, they're they teaching things that they don't necessarily believe in, but like this is what they're told to teach. You know what I mean? So now you're able to go out and find someone who who has the same type of uh, theories and thoughts as you as, as a parent, and you get to pay them to come teach your kids. And you can pay them what you believe is reasonable. And it, But and it's one-on-one. To where I mm-hmm. and it's three hours out of your day. Yeah. And okay. Oh well, yes. Let's say it's five other kids, but they get the attention that they need. Mm-hmm. I'm stupid as fuck, right? I like I needed that attention. Yeah. Like it, nothing stuck, at all. Period. Like I was almost like failing all my classes throughout my entire life. Yeah. Like it just nothing made sense. To where now, if you have like a lot of help one on one, like mm-hmm. to where I, when I was in college and I got tutors, mm-hmm. it helped me out a lot. Oh, for sure, it, it does. Helped me out a ton because you just there's. One thing that you learn about being a kid, man, is you learn how to avoid shit you don't like. Yep. And when you're in a classroom with 25 kids, it's easy to kind of just go below the radar, you know, look at this paper over here, look at this paper over there just to get an answer. Just so and not because you just you, you want it you like you're that type of person, like you're a manipulative type of person. There's a whole nother thing behind you copying off of other people because you first and foremost, you don't know. Yep. You're too afraid to ask because so many people around. Maybe you got anxiety, whatever that may right. be. Right. You don't want to look stupid. You don't want to like look stupid and things. getting bullied and stuff like that. So you just slide under the radar. And next thing you know, you're a senior going out into the real world and you really ain't learned shit. Maybe hopefully you run across some great teachers like I did in my life that actually like calls you out on it and has and sits down with you and actually gives you that extra time. I think I was blessed to have great teachers in my life. You know what I mean? And I think that's why it's so hard for me sometimes to talk about it. Um, but you take all that away now because now your kid is getting that attention 
and they don't have to feel like they're stupid by asking a question or and because they, they need more curious, time. Bro. Yeah, stay yeah. You want, I need you to ask questions. Like you need to ask as many questions mm-hmm. as humanly possible because the only way you're going to even be successful in life now is by asking really hard questions, curious questions, like what's going on mm-hmm. here, what's going on You can on only there. do that in a one-on-one setting. I, right. And I you mean, can do that in another school, but let's be real. Like everyone has those one kids are fucking shit. Kids are assholes. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like they are, bro. Like, like you know are. what I mean? Like my kid has a question and like now he feels like he can't ask no questions no more. Right. Cause he got gas. Cause he got, <laughs> cause he, he got, got fucking gas. gas. Now his joke's going to be a one, but, <laughs> but he didn't learn nothing. You know what I mean? So I've never been one to think about homeschooling and this ain't even the conversation me and my wife has ever talked about, but like, as I like go through like pros and cons of it, it's like, shit, like, I never would have. I never would have just even thought about it until listening to that podcast. Yeah, to me now it's a no brainer. Yeah, it's a no brainer. 